This lesson is on plotting points in the coordinate plane. I have a coordinate plane shown here. We have two axes. We have the x-axis, which is the horizontal one, so we'll put an x here. And we have the y-axis, which is a vertical axis, put a y there. The quadrants are called by Roman letters. This is the first quadrant. This is the second quadrant. This is the third quadrant, and this is the fourth quadrant. For whatever reason, they always start in the upper right, and they go counterclockwise. This is just the way it's always done. Start in upper right, and go counterclockwise. Doesn't always make sense, but that's the way it was done. And of course, we have a special point right here, the middle called 0, 0, which we call the origin. And often we just call it O. That's a O, not a 0. So let's pick some points and label them. Well, first we need to make some tick marks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 4, 5, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5. And then we always, we'll jump down here, do the x first it goes x comma y so if we pick this point out here three over and four up that would be three comma four we pick this point over here two over and five down that would be two comma negative five we pick this point four over and one up that would be negative four comma one if we pick this point 3 over and 2 down, that would be negative 3 comma negative 2. Always the x first, y second. How do you remember that it's x then y? Well, that's easy. It's alphabetical. x comes before y in the alphabet. So how do we graph the function y equals 2x minus 1 with domain negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2? Hopefully, remember we make a t chart x, y, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2. Negative 2 times 2 is negative 4, minus 1 is negative 5, negative 1 times 2 is negative 2, minus 1 is negative 3, 0 minus 1 is negative 1. Looks like it's always going down by 2 here. So I'm going to guess that this is 1 and this is 3, but I'll check. 2 times 1 is 2, minus 1 is 1, 2 times 2 is 4 minus 1 is 3. And now we graph. Do not need to label. If we label, we can assume they go by 1s. And for this time, I'll label the coordinates, even though you really don't have to. I like to use a different color. Negative 2, 5, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Negative 1, 3. 0, negative 1. And I'm actually off. I did this completely wrong. Negative 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Negative 1, negative 3. 0, negative 1. 1, 1. And 2, 3. As you can see, they form a straight line which is why the name of this unit says graphing linear equations and functions because they're linear, meaning they're in a line. Moving on to the next lesson. We're going to graph some linear equations. I'll show you how to do that. Um, this is another step towards it. We're not quite there. But one of the things we want to do is be able to say, well, does the coordinate 3, 4, which is x, y, fit into 3x minus y equals 7. So we'll just plug it in. 3 minus 4. Then we put the little question mark over the 7. 9 minus 4. Does it equal 7? 
plus five equal seven. You have to say no. So just some practice to see if our solution process is accurate. Again, I like to label those until I get really good at it. Two times one minus negative four. Does that equal seven? And when I get a negative negative, I turn them both into pluses. So when you see a plus plus, you know I've had a negative negative. Three plus four, does that equal seven? Does seven equal seven? Yes. So this solution works for that equation. So graph negative two x plus y equals three. Well, what should you do first? Well, we've been practicing these and I'll show you a better way to do this soon. But for the time being, y equals 2x minus 3. Notice x is to the first power. This means it's going to be a line. And as you'll learn in geometry, or maybe you already have, you only need two points to define a line. So we'll use that to our advantage as we go along. But right now, it makes our lives easy. Let's try zone 1 simple points that are probably pretty easy to calculate. So I get my coordinate plane ready to go over here. Put in zero to this equation. Two times zero is zero, minus three is negative three. Put in one, two times one is one, minus three is negative two. So, zero, one, two, three, and one, negative 2, connect the dots, it makes a line. That's pretty easy, but we'll make it even easier going forward. That'll do for now, though. So two more things here. How do we graph y equals 2 and x equals negative 1? Well, let's make our coordinate plane. This is a straight memorization. A lot of people struggle with this really not that challenging. Question is, how do we graph y equals 2? Well, where does y equal 2? Well, y equals 2 right here. Change color so we can see what we're talking about here. Right here. And it always equals 2 on this line. This is the point 0, 2. Let's go out here. This is the point 5 comma 2. This is the point negative 3 comma 2. Notice it's always 2. So y equals 2 is a horizontal line. You can just memorize it, make your life easy. And I'm not going to go into as much detail with it. x equals negative 1 is a vertical line right there. That's it. Always memorize it. Good luck practicing. Have fun.